हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अ टॉपिक इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिलियन ट्रेटा सिलियन ट्रेटा आर इक्वेटिक डिप्लोब्लास्टिक ऑर्गेनिजम दे आर हैविंग टू लेयर्स ऑफ सेल्स सिलियन ट्रेटा शोज टिश्यू लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द माउथ इट इज एनक्लोज बाय थिन एंड शॉर्ट टेंटिकल्स the cilian traits they are acylomate animals and they show blind body sac plan a non cellular layer of mesoglea is present which is gelatinous in nature between the ectoderm and endoderm they have interstitial cells due to which the process of regeneration is well developed in cilian traits the body of these organisms they have needoblast knob like structures responsible for secretion of hypnotoxin chemicals these chemicals they are used for self defense as well as attacking and paralyzing the prey the body is radially symmetrical the digestion is both intracellular as well as extracellular the nervous system and circulatory system they are absent in cilian traits they excrete and respire and respire through the simple diffusion the mode of reproduction is asexual which is through budding and the sexual reproduction is with the help of free swimming ciliated larva the function of intestine in cilian trait is played by internal hollow cavity called cilian tron the cilian traits they have holozoic form of nutrition the mouths of these organisms they are encircled with tentacles with nematocyst there is no presence of anus in these organism and the mouth is responsible for both ingestion as well as elimination these organism exhibit the behavior of polymorphism which means during their life cycle they occur in different forms of polyp as well as medusa the classification of cilian trait is based on the presence of polyps as well as the medusa forms it is classified into three classes hydrozoa scyphozoa and anthozoa hydrozoa hydrozoa are mostly marine species some in fresh water few are found in colonies and few are solitary asexual polyp is the dominant form mesoglea is acellular example hydra obelia sertularia plumularia tubularia second class is scyphozoa they are found exclusively in marine environment medusa is the dominant form and is umbrella shaped polyps they are not form mesoglea is cellular example is aurelia rhizostoma anthozoa the third class it is found exclusively in the marine environment mesoglea contains fibrous connective tissue and amoeboid cells and the medusa they are not present example metridium so in this way the three classes they are formed in cilian trait hydrozoa scyphozoa and anthozoa first class class hydrozoa class hydrozoa is divided into different orders first order is hydroida in hydroida we have got the examples of hydra tubularia bougainvillea obelia plumularia and sertularia second order is 
Hydrocorallina. Here Millipora is present. The third order is Siphonophora. Here Physalia is present. And the fourth order is Chondrophora. Here Valila and Porpita are seen. Now one by one we'll take up. First is Hydra. Small freshwater organism. Tubular radial symmetrical body is present in Hydra. And it has got adhesive foot known as basal disc. The gland cells in the basal disc secrete a sticky fluid that accounts for its adhesive property. At the free end of the body is mouth opening surrounding by 1 to 12 thin mobile tentacles. Each tentacle or nida is clothed with highly specialized stinging cells called nidocytes. It reproduces by the formation of buds. Second example is plumularia. It is colonial hydrozoa. Polyps are enclosed in hydrotheca and medusa are covered with gonotheca. Free medusa are flattened, bowl or saucer shaped, bearing gonads on the radial canal. Medusa bears statocysts. Eye spots or ocelli are absent. It eats microplankton. Third example is Sertularia. Again, it is a colonial hydrozoid. It is delicate, branching hydroid, having small sessile hydrotheca arranged bilaterally along the sides of the branches. The colony is found attached to seaweeds and is attached to the creeping hydrorhizae. The colony produces luminescence. The hydrotheca and gonotheca are sessile and arise from internodes. The polyps may be retracted completely or protruding outside. The polyps, they are enclosed by hydrotheca and medusa, they are encircled by gonotheca. The opening that is mouth of hydrotheca and gonotheca are covered by paired operculums. The hydrocolis differentiated into nodes and internodes. Next example is obelia. It is the marine, colonial and arborescent animal found attached to submerged objects like rocks and weeds. All the individuals in the colony are attached through the branches to the horizontal hydrorhiza. The branches they are known as hydrocoli. Each branch bears three types of zooids that is polyps, the medusa and the blastostyle thus making it polymorphic. The polyps has waist-like or bell-like body enclosed in the cup-like hydrotheca. At its distal end lies distinct and raised area, the hypostome with an apical mouth surrounded with tentacles. It is the organ of feeding. The medusa are saucer-shaped Zooids and are produced in the blastostyles. The blastostyles or gonozoids are club shaped and are devel and are devoid of mouth and tentacles. They are enclosed in gonotheca. The gonads are born on the medusa. Life history shows alternation of generation and the development is through the planula larva. Next example is Bougainvillea. Bougainvillea is dimorphic colony. A creeping hydrorhiza gives off branches which produces numerous polyps and medusa. The polyps has long stalk and hydranth. The hydranth has a mouth on the manubrium. Just below the manubrium, it is a ring of tentacles. There is a second ring of large aboral tentacles around the lower part of the hydranth is also present. Both kind of tentacles are solid with a excess of vacuolated endodermal cells. A stiff perisarch covers the hydrorhiza branches and the stalk 
but it stops short at the base of the hydrant and it does not form a hydrophica from the cenosarc the stalk arises several buds within each bud a single medusa develops the medusa is like a deep bell it breaks from the stalk and swims freely there is no blasto style in bowen will next example is tubularia tubularia hydroids is a species of large hydroid native to the north eastern atlantic ocean in the north sea the colonial solitary polyps are found on dull yellow unbranched stem during the summer time the sperms are released in the water and are attracted to the female reproductive structures by means of chemical substance the internal fertilization occurs in the female medusoids the fertilized egg develop into actinula these larvae develop directly into the new polyps although the medusa are attached to the polyp the life cycle resembles that of typical nidarian with the polyp reproducing asexually and medusa producing eggs and the sperms next example is millipora the coral millipora are a genus of colonial marine organism that exhibits physical characteristics similar to that of a coral far corals have a bright yellow green or brown skeleton covered or and are widely distributed in tropical subtropical waters they appear in small brush like outgrowth on rocks and corals a very small nematocyst on far far coral contains tentacles that protrude from numerous surface pores similar to jellyfish stings in addition far corals has a sharp calcified external cell skeleton that can scrape the skin the far corals are found on reefs in tropical and subtropical water such as indian ocean pacific ocean atlantic ocean next example is portuguese man of war that is physalia it is found in atlantic ocean and indian ocean it has numerous venomous microscopic nematocyst which delivers a painful sting powerful enough to kill a fish and has been known to occasionally kill the humans the name man of war comes from the man of war an 18th century sailing warship and the animals resemble to portuguese version of full sail there is a large gas filled nematophore formed by several medisoids it floats above the surface it contains gas glands which produce a gas having 90% nitrogen 9% oxygen and 1% argon as many as several different kinds of zooids have been described in man of war three of the medusoid forms that is gonophores nectophores and vestigial nectophores they are present and four of polypoid types that is free gastrozooids tentacle bearing zooids gonozooids and gonopelpons they are present the portuguese man of war is carnivorous using its venomous tentacle a man of war traps and paralyzes its prey while reeling it inwards to the digestive polyps next example is valella valella is polymorphic colony which looks like a single medusa it has rhomboidal body on whose upper surface is a oblique sail dorsally there is nematophore like a chitinous chambered disc which contains air and chambers communicate with the exterior from the middle of the body hangs a single large gastrozooid having a mouth all around the gastrozooid are numerous gonozooids or blastocysts each having a mouth 
that produce free swimming medusa on the margins of body is a circle of long tentacle like dactylozoids having nematocyst the velella is found along the southern atlantic coast where the colony is carried about by the wind next example is porpita porpita is polymorphic colony allied closely to velella the colony resembles medusa it has large disc like body with chitinous chambered nematophore containing air each chamber communicate with the exterior by two pores from the body hang the single gastrozoid numerous tubular gonozoids or blastostyles bearing medusa and many long marginal dactylozoids with nematocyst the body has ramifying canals some opens into the nematophores by a uh, while other they communicate with the anteron of the zoids now coming to the second class that is the class skyphozoa it has got two orders first order is semiostomi and second order is rhizostomi in the example of semiostomi is aurelia whereas the example of rhizostomi is rhizostoma aurelia is commonly referred as jellyfish because it is made of jelly like substance it is cosmopolitan jellyfish it occurs in warm and temperate sea it lives in coastal water singly or in large shoals it is found either floating with water current or waves or swimming freely by contraction contraction movement of its bell it is carnivorous feeds on small organism with the help of its long oral arms and the next example is rhizostoma rhizostoma is large jellyfish found in shallow waters of indo pacific region it is saucer shaped umbrella with a scalloped margins having 8 or 16 tentaculocytes of different species there are no marginal tentacles in the young rhizostoma there is a central mouth but in the adult the mouth is closed by overgrowth and folding of four oral arms the oral arms become organ of external digestion and they digest the food and fluid is absorbed by sucking mouths this polystomous condition is unique in the animal the oral arms are bifurcated distally to form eight long club shaped terminal appendages the tentacles lie only on oral arms in two groups they look like filamentous roots and bear nematocyst so this is regarding the rhizostoma so these are the two